Have you ever noticed that when it comes to love at first sight, you turn into a completely different animal, at least vocally speaking? Well, that's what Lincoln and his sisters found out in the episode I'm going to talk about today. So join me as I, Steam Team Read Up UK, CC Trainer Ling, bring you another retro review from past seasons of The Loud House. Cue the intro! Today's episode is Study Muffin. In this episode, Lincoln worries he's going to fail the fifth grade and hires a tutor named Hugh, but making progress becomes impossible when his sisters start crushing on Hugh no matter where he and Lincoln go to study. Since I'm reviewing this episode years after the finales of both the first and fourth seasons, I suspect this episode takes place a short time before Friends in Dry Places, since it was confirmed in that episode how Lincoln was definitely going to be graduating elementary school prior to the end of the year class trip. Anyway, the central theme in this episode was that when faced with someone you find attractive, you turn into a completely different person. We see how both the girls and boys react in their respective situations, with one of the major similarities being they start bleeding like a sheep upon seeing how good their crush looks. The kids making sheep noises I found both really strange, but really amusing at the same time. But then there are the differences. For the girls, they mostly try to do whatever they can to get as close to their crush as physically possible, even though it's very clear Hugh is not going to reciprocate their feelings for obvious age differences, despite their advances. Just for a few examples, the Lao girls all try to surround Hugh and chase him wherever he goes, including out the door. Some imagine what their kids would look like if they were to marry him, make sweaters with his face printed on the front, and literally fight for his affection. The boys, on the other hand, get distracted when they admire their crush from afar. They don't fight each other or make any advances to get physically close to the one they love, and the one for whom they're crushing isn't really aware of the feelings the boys are having. For a few examples, the boys are so mesmerized by their substitute teacher, Miss D. Martino, that they start walking into things and they give their crush some gifts. In Lincoln's case, he was so distracted by his teacher's beauty that he couldn't pay attention in class. That's why his grades started slipping even though studying with Hugh proved he's not as stupid as he thought. Another similarity to this episode's crush theme would be that the best way to snap either girls or boys back to reality would be to remove the object of their eye from their line of vision. Lori lost and regained her composure when Lisa kept showing and removing a picture of Hugh, and Lincoln was able to retake and sub subsequently passed the test he needed to avoid failing the fifth grade when Miss Martino allowed him to take the test inside his locker. This episode also features my two favorite moments that technically foreshadow what would later become a standard starting in season two. First, the dad is obsessed with Hugh, not so much for his good looks, but because he's from England and the dad's love for all things British becomes one of his defining characteristics throughout the series. The other moment is where Luna refers to Miss Martino as smoking, and the tone in her voice and the face she makes heavily indicated that she might be by sexual. That, of course, was later confirmed in Ellis for Love when she gives Sam a love letter. So the episode threw in a few Easter eggs to make watching an episode like this feel a lot more interesting in terms of laying the groundwork for future seasons. Also, there's a small voiceover mistake where Rusty can be seen talking from within a trash can, but somehow it's Liam's voice that can be heard. I have no idea how and why that happened, but it's no big deal. Overall, this was a very solid episode to serve as one half of the first season finale, or I guess what would have been the series finale had the show not been picked up for another season, it demonstrated in its own humorous way how boys and girls act when they each see someone for whom they have romantic feelings, each having their own similarities and differences in how they react, and how neither sex is portrayed any better or worse than the other when displaying their behavior around the person they love. Throw in some foreshadowing moments with Luna and her dad, and this becomes one of the all-time best episodes for season one. With that said, I give Study Muffin a 9.7 out of 10. Well, folks, that concludes my review of of Study Muffin. So I gotta ask, what did you guys think of this episode? Sound off in the comments below, and be sure to click that subscribe button for more Loud House related content. That's going to do it for me, I'll catch you guys for the next video, but until then, this is Steam Team Read Up UK, CC Trainer Ling, signing off. Peace out, home slices.